Chicago home sales, they were down 11% last month following national trends. Many homeowners remain hesitant to jump into the for sale market given that mortgage rates reached their highest levels in nearly 23 years. Kennedy Hayes spoke to housing experts about the best ways to now navigate this housing market. I'm spending just about as much on my Airbnb expense with utilities as I would if I were to put down money and actually you know, purchase a home. According to Redfin, some of the most expensive housing markets in the U.S. include San Diego, Denver, Miami, and New York City. So this is a 1929 bungalow, three beds, two baths. Joy McVicker is moving to Denver from Washington State and says it's been a very different shopping experience from when she bought her first home in 2020. You know, a house would come up and then the offer review date would be like two days later. So you'd have to get in quickly, put in your offer quickly because the interest rates were so low. 30 year fixed mortgage rates have hit their highest level in more than two decades. According to Freddie Mac, the average rate is approaching 8% this month, well above the pre pandemic average of 3.9%. Experts say there are ways around the price increases and buyer demand tends to ease in the winter. It's worth talking to your lender and seeing what, if any, adjustments you can make to your credit score or your, your financial situation or even the type of loan that you're taking on. In fact, the sellers who are still on the market at this moment, a lot of them are getting worried about whether their listing will sell before the holiday season. What that means is a lot of them might be willing to meet buyers halfway. 